Hello and welcome back to Adventure's Edge, Heroes of the Veil, Season 1 Recap. So I'm adding this a bit after the fact, because after we recorded Episode 27, everybody kind of took a little break, and as they were sitting back to the table, as you'll see in just a moment, I literally just said, I'm hitting record, and you got kind of some raw people sitting down, and you know, sometimes you get to see a little bit behind the scenes, so... It's just a pretty relaxed episode as we talk about the season and the episode and everything that kind of went on. So you're going to get that. But before we jump to it, I just wanted to start off by saying once again, first of all, happy holidays because it's Christmas for those who celebrate. So this is our Christmas gift to you. And I just wanted to also say once again, thanks for joining us on this journey. We've had a lot of fun making the season. We're looking forward to season two and hope you all have a good rest of your year and we will be back with more content very soon. So that's enough of me. Let's just get to me hitting the record button. I am just hitting record. We're, we're, we're recording. Excellent. The party just shook me down for some experience. Yeah. Um, it was a really long episode, so... Yeah, I'm, it was I'm like two do, episodes. It was. It was like two episodes. So. I don't know. What are we at in there? I'll count. Angrily. <laughs> Today is double day where all coins are double. Yeah. Do we have like a double? Co- oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't it. really matter for me. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop pandering. <laughs> That's nine. Nine and a half. Oh, Nine you, got, and a half. you got a little bit to go. What do you need? 14? Mm-hmm. To get to level four? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's close. That's basically nine and a half, huh? How is that? How, have you been adding every episode? No, I think he's a cheater. <laughs> I, I think you forgot a few times. I do too. Well, when you said nine and a half, how many? There's five silver and nine gold in there. Okay, you know what? It's it's five silver to a point, or or to a gold or ten, five, uh, five, five. So it'd be ten. Oh, so there's ten in there. Ten. So there's five silver in here. So it's ten. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a whole one. Yeah, he's like, nope, that's good now. <laughs> I was gonna round it up because I was feeling generous. So, so round it up to eleven. Turn it to le- turn it up to eleven. Round it up to twenty. Yeah, but this one has eleven. So, so so probably like three ups you'll you'll level up. So <laughs> emotions are raw, Don. I think so, <clears throat> it's been like Give me a give me a gold for these now. <laughs> it's been all of maybe if you're two listening, to bless five your heart five minutes. Five, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> The couch is already set up. All right, <laughs> Don, we're robbing you. <laughs> so, obviously, we've we finished season one of this show, mm-hmm. which I'm going to clap for. Yeah, that was you know what? yeah. thanks everybody. Yeah. Thank you all for the journey. Yeah, thank you, Don. <laughs> I know that's all a, an absolute, um, unimaginable amount of work. It is to record all of them, to edit all of them, and yeah, this the, is a totally. Uh, homebrewed story. I mean, this is not based on anything. Well, the, the story is homebrewed. Um, I am, I mean, I am, I have borrowed a lot of material for like some of the adventures. Sure. But I, you know, and that's kind of, I feel like that's its own show as I really wanted to talk about that, about like my goal with this world and whatever, but, but I've stitched things together to create a unique story. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it will definitely become bigger and bigger as well, we go. Like we we're just like chipping away at the edges of a larger Yeah, and that was that was really the pacing for for season 1 that I it was like I wanted I wanted that feeling of the really the starting small and like everything has been very centered on this very small area like a cast of characters has grown, but this is all about your home. I mean, that's like protecting your home and, and mm-hmm. you know, the, the environment and things like that and learning about yourselves. So I do imagine there's going to be some 
getting on the road at some point, but I think even season two, like you've got a lot of mysteries that are right here. And that's kind of what I was really trying to go for with this. Mm. To those still <laughs> listening, if you've not listened to the end, spoiler alerts coming up. So don't listen to this before the others. Yeah. If you, if you haven't finished the finale, you're like, Just oh, a wow, requirement. let's go to the recap show. For some <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get, get all the way through the finale. <laughs> yeah. Don't like, oh, it's winding down. <laughs> you want to hear it all the way to that last There's second. There's a big reveal. Yeah. So this is the spoiler alert for that. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, I thought we'd take, you know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever mm-hmm. you guys, this is our, you know, you, we, we can talk about the, the second story or we can just talk about the reveal. Cause I mean, I think that's really maybe where we should start. Yeah. <laughs> start yeah. from the end. Sure. What was the save <laughs> I had to hit? Um, what was the DC? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not I actually I'm behind not, the green curtain. Yeah, it was really high. It was. It, I had a plus one. Could I have done it? So I mean, with a natural twenty, but, and at but disadvantage, at disadvantage, <laughs> you would have had to roll two twenties. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, so no. Yeah, you are destined to die. I was. <laughs> That's really crappy. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, wow. Just a little wisdom from the old dwarf. Feather to put in your cat for the holidays. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just so you know, at the uh, Zinnia, the uh, you remember that little bird skull? Yes. Like I paid to have it turned into a helmet for you, Aww. and it's at the house. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have to go through your belongings oh, yeah. and so like, you know, shake me down. Well, I mean, somebody's going to have to, you know, that's part of this the whole. a lot of sleeveless so. t-shirts for one person. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> How many headbands does a man need? <laughs> I thought Omrus was a slob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a an interesting twist, like, especially from kind of Trunk's clerical, like, point of view, because his main domain is healing, but his second is home. Mm-hmm. And that's why, like, anytime there's been that kind of invasion and break of the hospitality or whatnot, he's yeah. had such an issue. But this is kind of the ultimate, like, yeah. somebody from your own town doing it to you. Like, that is yeah, approaching the biggest sin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And trying to... Might see barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Try to, to think of one thing to say. Oh, yeah. Just to dig at the guy since yeah. I saved his nephew. Yeah, you did. <sighs> yeah. All this turns sounds like it's gonna turn into a you know, a crime investigation. Yeah. CSI yeah. Raven Rock. Oh yeah. uh, you know, there's there's gonna be some citizen investigations here because Tommy was a great swimmer. And there's no way he drew. It was actually well known how good mm, of a swimmer was. Yeah. was. And we also just saw how well he can hold his alcohol. Yeah. yeah. Right. There's something's fishy. Oh. You you did all of that just for the fishy yeah. joke, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so before so we begin, it's called a build up. <laughs> like before we like contact our our creepy elf investigator friend to help us out and whatnot, first things first is we throw Darun into the water and get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've given Corda specific instructions to make sure that you guys at least would lose an arm. Worth it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so let's talk about Jeff. Yes, me. <laughs> I like before, to talk about before me. Before everybody just. Tommy's second thinks, favorite subject. Thanks, that <laughs> I am the worst GM out there ever. Yeah. So, um, I am going back to school um, full time. And uh, so, have to make sure that I have enough time for my studies. So I will not, I would not be able to support the podcast in a way that I feel like I would be able to do a good job. So um, I am still open, Don, to the occasional guest star. As a ghost. As as a ghost or as a, as a different like, character. Which is why I'm so freaking annoyed. The... <laughs> With Donald right now. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I see a clear path here. I don't know. He didn't say he was dead. I mean, mm. okay. he implied it. 
but Zinnia, it... you just teach Bree how to be a mage. She goes necromancer right away. And we've got a like ghosty zombie Tommy friend. Gosh, his voice would be even harder to understand. <laughs> Go on, give me Cockney zombie go. <laughs> Hello, Brian's <laughs> pirate zombie right. cockney actor. I mean, who what? doesn't want to be a pirate zombie, though? Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna step away from the podcast. It has been an absolute delight to play with everybody, um, over the course of the year, but uh, I have to make sure that, yeah, I'm doing school justice. I tried to convince him that like you just show up and it's it's a breeze, but that didn't work. So Yeah, yeah, that didn't that didn't You know, ten years from now I don't know if I'm on, you know, my deathbed and I've got Jeff going, you know, I really didn't pay much attention in nurse school, but Yeah. uh, yeah. I think this is the right tube. I think this is the right solution. (laughs) I don't know which bag (laughs) to to connect. We're just winging it here. I might roll D twenty to find out. (laughs) Crit fail. Close your eyes. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wow. Yeah, so I, I'm yeah. going to nursing school. So yeah, that's as, awesome. Is that more kind of a we need lots of good nurses? We do need. Are good. We do. Yes, we need so, more nurses right now. So that'll but, be good. Yeah, but we'll, we will do what we can to make sure that you hear Jeff's voice. The delightful <laughs> sounds. At the very least, I do have a DM show planned. Yeah. Um. So I that's that's going to be coming up. Yeah. So is that with all the DMs, you know? Yeah. Well, what I, what, so I, I mean, what I have in mind is, and, it, and I've had a lot of things in mind, which is why I haven't done it yet is I, <laughs> I haven't been able to settle, but I think that what I want to do is basically have a, a scheduled show and a pool of people that could like drop in. So it's oh, not going to be sure. like, not like if, I could, if I could like, uh, you know, find six or seven people. And like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna record here and see so you can show. So, I'm also thinking I want to try to do it where we can do record that show remotely because I think that sure. would be more accessible to people. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the so I'm t- been trying to come up with a good name for it. No, I want to focus on this, but we'll we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, but coming soon, you'll hear voices. And I'll talk to you guys about that over. over we break. can talk about it once we have a name for it. We will. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. So Tommy's dead. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> we're going to wake up the next Gosh. morning. Because we're, wait, who's going to know he's dead? They're just going to think he, he's well, well, gone for a while, right? I mean, you know what? Let, that's going to be, well, that's, okay. that's going to yeah. be where we All start. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about where we've been. Let's talk oh, about where we've been. Yeah. I thought that, uh. The goblins would pose more of a of a threat, um, and when we were in the cave, like because we were t- we were seeing dire bats, we mm-hmm. were seeing di- we were hearing dire wolves, and we had that little maze at the beginning, which we somehow tra- traversed with no. That took longer than the battle. Yeah, and then <laughs> we went in and immediately identified that we were pretty overmatched. Yeah. And really just kind of came in there, kicked a little butt, stole Unda, mm-hmm. and then absconded. <laughs> I mean, I, you, you guys SEAL teamed that episode. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. we were I did not imagine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I felt kind of like it, it was a, like a military operation. <laughs> So that was that was a lot of we fun. We had a plan and we trusted each other's skills and what we could do and that's why I think helped out is like everybody had a job. Yeah. Yeah, it worked that, out really well. I think honestly that was the culmination of I mean that was that was like the team came together in a way that it could not have been more perfect. Yeah. Yes, it could have been. If Unda had been able to freaking fly, mm. I think we would have gotten out of there a lot faster. <laughs> that's true. Sure. Yeah. We, you know, honestly, if I think if we would have gotten out one round faster, that was like probably the best we could do. Cause you were waiting around at the entrance for a couple of rounds for me to finally get Land back over. That being said, if we had gotten out at exactly the pacing that like I and Trunk were imagining, the trap wouldn't have landed and hit the people that we needed it to hit. The fact that it hit, uh, you know, our big old goblin leader, like if he didn't get crushed by the trap, 
yeah. we could have been pursued. And, you know, even with some, the defensive wall of trunk kind of right. backing away, we still would have probably had to deal with things. So ultimately I think the fact that, that Tommy forced us to delay longer probably ended up serving us. Yeah. Yeah. Had it all planned out. <laughs> Not well, really. you know, not that, really. <laughs> that's the thing. Kind of like uh, your point that we trusted in each other's skills. Like as much as I'm like, oh, I've got a plan and I want to do it this way. You know, in the moment you compromise those things to make things happen as a collective. And that turned out better. Teamwork. Yeah. Make him a dream work. None of that was what I imagined. Like uh, not really? even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Like when, you know, when, you, when I build these things. I, I try to work through like, well, they could do this, they could do that. You know, you come up with all different scenarios, but I don't ever try to like create the solution. Like mm -hmm. that's not my job to figure out. Right. I create the problem, but I also do think through solutions. You have like, to, to be aware. You know, so I'm to, like, well, the okay. next step has to be there. Yeah. That was, that was not it. I, I really expected a little more dungeon crawly. Um, the clever looking at the ceiling. I, I didn't, I didn't think about that ahead of time. But the fact that you thought about that and you're like, well, yeah, which way would the, the set, set, the set, I'm mm -hmm. like, well, yeah. Okay. That's a good point. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Sure. The Saint Shell And rodeo. your, um, <laughs> your avoidance of, yeah, there was, there was a lot of horrible traps in there. I mean, especially since going up to this, every yeah. other session that we've had. Whenever Don is like, oh, but there's something maybe there. You don't know. Our like treasure greed is like, well, let's go look and find out what kind of trouble we find. And in that entire goblin cave, we're like, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, there was very yeah. little treasure greed. <laughs> yeah. Which is really funny um, is, is there was a lot of treasure in there. Like I expected that this was like, oh yeah, this is where you guys finally are going to kind of clean up. <laughs> And so then, did, did you think that we were just going to kill them all and then loot, not run away with them still alive? Because that know, would have been really hard to do to get, kill them all there. Yeah. It would have been dead. hard to do. But, mm. you know, you could have also done it in phases. Sure. You know, if you, if, if you don't get the alarm sounded, you could, like, take some out here, take some out there, and work your way through. And sure. then you have the like, rumble with the just chief. Try to get, though, did, did you think you said there's a lot of treasure there well if we would have gotten rid of it we had the time to kind of look at there were you kind of expecting that to that's where they would all lay their last breath the the I, goblins i did, I did yeah okay. absolutely hmm. is that would you say that's the biggest surprising play that we've had oh well like what was the the thing in this whole campaign all season one where we really zagged and you expected us to zag. Well, when you guys went down to talk to the fish first, and then you're like, eh, we know which way to go. You expected us to go to the inn right away. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like this adventure was the whole, like it was all set up where you go, you talk to the people, you gather rumors. Like there's all this, like this rumor table. And then you're sure. like, oh, well, they are. We learn about the dire wolves. Oh yeah. They, we've been seeing these bats. Like, <laughs> like you build it up and you kind of get the whole story. Uh, and then, and then you can kind of figure out, oh, well, this is where the goblins are. And you you cut all of that out. I felt mm -hmm. like there was a little bit more of a time issue though. Well. Uh, to me, but. in in. To to me, it was okay. Well, it all stems from upriver, yeah. And so the it was fairly evident that we needed to go upriver. So it was no real need. And you were brought the dire wolves and the dire bats into the story when we were camping overnight in the yeah. riverbed. Yeah. So that's I, well, how you had to. I, I did because I I needed to scare us. Uh, well, scare you, but also to kind of like telegraph or foreshadow that. Yeah, if you aren't careful. Sure. Um, yeah. I think going in, if we had been, hey, we're going to go kill all these goblins, that would have been maybe the direction we took. But we were yeah. kind of planning the whole time, trying not to kill many and just get Unda and leave. I, like, literally, I was like, we're not going to kill the goblins. We're going to talk to the goblins. Like, that was my plan. Yeah. Yep. They I didn't really, they weren't interested in talking though. Well, that I mean, was the one, we didn't hurt anybody first. Like they attacked us before we attacked them. Cause the whole first round, 
was movement. The first mm-hmm. person to take any damage was actually Tommy. Uh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was I got Tommy shot got shot two. with the crossbow. I got shot at two. I mean, either yeah. way, like, with the intent of going we were in, in their to house, speak. So. Yeah, we, we did invade kind of oh, their yeah. lair. No, I, I But understand. the first thing they saw was Zinnia flying up to Unda, so, yeah. like, they're... No, they didn't see me. No, yeah, that's didn't true. They? they did not because see you, me. Because you had, like, that super if, stealth. If mm-hmm. you look at, like, the whole of... If we were to try to analyze what the goblins' thoughts were and, like, if they deserved what they deserved, I mean, they basically took a whole river system out that affected many people for the sake of trying to catch a fish. <laughs> so I think they're, they did not realize that the outcome was just going to be as serious as it was. They thought it was just a prank, and it was much more serious than that. You know, so that's kind of why Tommy was as gruff with Salvel as he was because mm-hmm. ultimately their their uh the goblins were doing a prank and the kind of unbeknownst to the problems they were causing Salvel was guilty of the exact Absolutely. same thing mm-hmm. he just didn't do it as on a, such a big scale because without his antagonizing the chief sure Sure. Well, they took it to another level. They but did, absolutely. I don't know. I feel like we really can't, you know, we can't hold a fi- a talking fish or even goblins, you know, to this this standard of being global thinkers. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, mean I, I get that. I, guess, I don't know what the intelligence of right. goblins are in this world. But, but they, they had to have known, mm-hmm. like, I mean, water not... <sighs> Lack of water for anybody is not good. I mean, they knew, and then they also kidnapped something, someone uh-huh. to try, then you know to get rid of that. So they were they were imprisoning someone. Uh, yeah, but now we're putting our moral standards on. Sure. Well, that's all we can do. I, you know, yeah. I mean, I that's know. how you look at anything. Well, I wouldn't do that. That's why I'm making a judgment why that person should be punished mm. because of our yeah. own morals on there. I think ultimately there was some guilt to go around for just about everybody. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. kind of made the Tom and Jerry comparison at one point. <clears throat> yeah. And there's sort of that uh, uh, joke meme or whatnot that like when you're young, you're cheering on Jerry and Tom's mm-hmm. the villain. But as you age, you're like, wow, Jerry's a jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like that's kind of where I was looking at it too. I'm like on one hand, I want – I kind of want to let them all off the hook for their own kind of prank games. But once they're – Wrapping everybody else in. I mean, the goblin chieftain is willing to risk his entire clan on this like rivalry with a fish. Right. Right. Not and like that's even just to play our morality versus their morality. You know, maybe they don't <coughs> care what happens to this town, but as a chief, if you're willing to let all of your people die because you're mad at a fish and you want to eat it, and like, come on. <laughs> that's that's not yeah. good leadership. <laughs> no. Yeah, he needs to go to some manager courses or so something. So, what were there are other options? So, how would we have breached a conversation with a chief, goblin chief, to say this is you have to, we have to get this Nixie back? I think the only way what would happen is if we had managed to get the goblins to come out of their cave to speak with us. Do Once part- we were inside, sure. I think yeah. we were done. I think so, that that would have been a really dangerous prospect. Would they have, yeah, if we asked for a parlay, would they have assumed we were just trouble and they were trying to get something out of it and get paranoid? I mean, they were obviously by the traps and the stuff that they set up, there was some sense of, well, we didn't want you in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we get it. So like asking for a conversation, like how deep does that go over there? negotiations what would they have asked for and what would have it turned into Mm -hmm. if we would have had a conversation with um the chief or someone what would it where would that have gone yeah would they have taken us i know you're just trying to play this this completely hypothetical situation sure but you probably thought about it was that even a possibility uh yeah it actually was um and i mean you could have you could have taken the leverage route you could have um i mean you had fish belly Right, mm-hmm. you went in, you, you snuck in, and you took him prisoner, and you got some information. You could have done a hostage ex- exchange. See, that's the one thing that I had thought before we left, is we knew that goblins were playing pranks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe we could stay there, try and catch the goblin. Yeah. And unbeknownst to us, that would have been 
Grabo. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Grabo. Would have. Which wasn't his son. Grabo was his Gravelbeak's son. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I mean, if we had yeah. the son, that right there would have been you have to talk to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was um. I mean, and and I'm fine at this point. You know, kind of giving out information because because there's clues that can take you in different directions. Like when you went down and you found the little runes and you found the the the, the pie and the mm-hmm. backpack and stuff, and I said, yeah, there were goblin tracks that kind of went, uh, uh, you know, uh, like to the east toward the north bank, mm-hmm. and you know, you acknowledged it and you're like, well, let's just go. We can we know which direction to go. Mm-hmm. Um, that was an angle you could could have gone was to track because the kids were not far away. Yeah, and the I kind go- the and goblin I, kids, the, yeah. co- the goblin kids, they had a little hideout when we have it, yeah. And, and you know what? That would be, if we would have done that, that would have been a whole other moral conundrum that we'd well, be talking about yeah. right now. So, because there was, um, you know what? And I completely in in the episode we didn't we kind of glossed over, you know, the post fight, uh, the question of where the goblins came from didn't come up, and and I failed mm-hmm. to bring that up. And we should probably just like add it because that would have been something you guys would have looked into, like how did they get in here? Because they came out of the kitchen. Right. And in the kitchen is a, um, uh, uh, basically the stairs go down to the large, um, uh, larder. Yeah. I keep, I always want to say basement, but basically the, 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 where like all a, the, uh, like a cellar. Sorry. Yeah. But it's, it's where all the, uh, he brews all the L. Oh, sure. So the cellar, the cellar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there's like the big cask of L and stuff down yeah. there. Um, <laughs> the goblins over like the last 10 years had tunneled uh, from the riverbed and they had a little, they've got like a little cave there all the way up to the inn mm. and have a secret door into the cellar. Mm. And they've been stealing L uh, for like the last 10 years, but wow. just, just enough that like he, he kind of writes it off as like, um, evaporation. Well, or, or, you know, his staff but or whatever. The gods bit. take. Yeah. yeah. God's share. So that was how they came in. Mm. So you guys, had you tracked the kids, they were staying in, there was, there was this little cave that's all set up really nicely with this back door to the end. So that oh. was another one that you could have caught them. Mm. Um, and then like, oh, where does this go? And then, oh, hey, now we're at the end. It's like there was a lot of little paths you could have taken. Right. But we just were like the Terminator and just yeah. walked straight so, to the caves. <laughs> well, like when we found that, I think we even kind of made the assumption, oh, you know, these are the goblin pranksters, but we're trying to deal with the big guys. Yeah. So yeah. 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 We don't need to follow these guys because they're nothing. We're looking for the chief. Yeah. Um, I think we were going to solve both problems by. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so you could have cut the kids. You could have used them as hostages for Unda. You could have done fish belly. So there was ways to lure them out to have a conversation. Yeah. Um, you, I mean, I knew you wouldn't, but you could have given them Salvel. Yeah. I mean, that was a solution. I, I think one, I think Zinnia made it clear that that was not going to happen. Yeah, Zinnia was not going to give up Salvel. Yeah. But you know what? I'm feeling like this is like my first playthrough of a certain other yeah. computer game right now <laughs> and I, on my second playthrough i would explore another yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah another approach to it and but yeah but i don't get that i mean that's so. the fun part right there isn't there isn't a single way there isn't a right way it's the way you did it and and we're as adventurers and playing this game for different styles of this game for a long time as a group we're predisposed to these ideas of goblins and yeah. predisposed of, I mean, even though this is a different world and, and the races are a little bit different, that's hard to break out of, you know, it's hard for me as a dwarf, someone who plays a dwarf who has been has played them before, who's had his whole life of what this dwarf was and this picture of this dwarf mm-hmm. was different and different things about the dwarves that necessarily don't stick that stereotype of, of the Tolkien dwarf. Mm-hmm. And so that was hard for me to, to get out of because I, you don't have beards, <laughs> you know, even though that's Which the way you wrote it. Which is why I specifically like, I'm like, I need to have, I need to introduce <laughs> like real dwarves, yeah. how they more are culturally. No, I have a beard because of, of wh- who I am in the group <laughs> I'm in, not because I'm a dwarf. Yeah. And so it's hard to play that in that predisposed el- relationship between elves and, you yeah. know, like the. Yeah. Is that actually canonical in this world or is Darun just a racist? <laughs> 
<laughs> against Dallas. Well, she started it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all giving him the what? <laughs> um, yeah, that and that really needs to be a deeper dive in 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 the, the so the dwarves have a canonical enmity with the goblins, mm-hmm. um, and there's a big history behind it. The elves, and that's why I was really glad that none of you wanted to play an elf. And and I said, they're not like, you don't see the elves everywhere. There's a lot of elves, but they mostly are like in their forest kingdoms, mm-hmm. but they do have these wardens who meddle. Okay. So this, I, I did kind of want to introduce at least one before the end of the. Knew what they existed. Yeah. Um, what they but they, uh, they, yeah, there's, I don't know that there's racism, but there's some tension. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, you know, in this big battle, like the elves didn't come to help and they were right there. The elves. The elves. And the Lord. In, 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 like in this big battle that happened late 18 years ago. Oh, I thought the elves and the gnolls were fighting against well, different elves. Different elves. Different elves. Oh. And that was the other thing is that, you know, an elf is an elf and the elves were invading. So there's, there, there is a confusion there, right? Because you had this. These invaders who were elves, but they were not the same elves wow. that live here. Oh, sure. Yeah, that and was a fun f- moment for me as a player because I'm like, ooh, back lore history. I want to know this. And I'm like, nope, Trunk does not want to be in this room. Immediately leaves. Oh, so, yeah. I know. I'm glad everybody else followed up. So at least I got to got, get some of it. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think that's why everybody was so interested in it. It's like, well, Don really wants to tell this story. <laughs> I did. Well, it was, it was because, I, you know, I've, I haven't had a ton of exposition. In yeah. game, and yeah. I was like, "Well, we we do need to I widen need, the world a little I bit need to tell this story." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the trick from your standpoint: is what part of it do you let the players tell? What's part of the story do you let the players tell? Yeah, and what part do you tell without straight out just telling it? How do you tell it without straight out just doing you know a lecture for forty five minutes about yeah. the world? Because nobody wants to hear that. Right. No one wants to hear that. I tell him that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, and, and that is, I mean, but that, he but wants just, to sh- he he's wants talking to share this. about his day. But it's just, it's a, it, it's a, it's a, someone, a storyteller does. Yeah. They, they have a, a world that you want to share with people. Yeah. And so it's really, I, I was talking to this last night with my girlfriend. It's just this, this crazy balance of you how, letting us tell the story and then you telling the story and how do you. Do each one is is a is a yeah. wire. I think that's why I do like you know doing these tell us more episodes is that you know because we're just talking about lore. Mm-hmm. Um, if people want to listen to that, they can. And if people are like, God, I that is like the worst part. <laughs> you can skip you it. Give it an option yeah. if they really want yeah. to dive into it. I, mean, I think we tell enough in the game that you're fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think it comes down to like the best way that any GM can exposit that backstory is waiting for the players to ask. Yeah. And in a way that's part of the reason that I had trunk leave so aggressively because he's never done that. Of course, naturally his friends are going to go, well, we should either follow him and find out what's up or we should ask this NPC what's up. So we have more insight into it. Yeah. And you know, then we're like, why is he mad? Please tell us this history that he doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause I was trying to bring, I mean, big, big little, like, big reveals for each character and their, you know, backstories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you just killed mine. Yes. <laughs> no reveal needed. Yeah. Well, I was actually looking forward to Tommy's run for mayor. I was like, I, this I is going to be awesome. That was, and so all the listeners know too, I mean, this, obviously we've had a conversation about this being kind of towards the end for, yeah. for, uh, for Tommy. So his, his plan was to be the mayor of Raven Rock and do the, the Raven Rock citizens, um, a service. And uh, Don said, no, Jeff, I, I want to kill him. <laughs> See, I didn't know about the killing part, so that's why I brought up the mayor when yeah. I was – because yeah. we kind of talked off table about, oh, you should run for mayor. And so yeah. in my drunken stupor, I thought, oh, this would be a fun idea, not knowing that the DM and you were in shenanigans together and 
Ah, oh, shenanigans. I found out today because <laughs> yeah. Don said, hey. Um, I got an idea. <laughs> so you're for sure <laughs> not going to be able to do this. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, so. Oh, you knew you were going to die. Yeah, because I, I mean, how, why else would I have walked out at it's, night with no weapons and armor to the dock? That was right. obvious. Like you even grabbed your weapon right. and in theory, trunk was right there. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah it's, it's a, normal for you to go out to the docks well, because it's normal for your boss yeah. in the middle of the night. To Maybe come you're going to get, get a promotion. Right. He's like, I just oh, need to let I, you know. I think there needs to be a, a spinoff of like a Davy Jones locker. Like you're just, you know, come back with barnacles on you and oh, it's yeah. like one of your eyes yeah. eaten out by fish. I, and, I will say though, <laughs> uh, you know, and and Don very graciously offered the chance for that not to happen. <laughs> and I was like, no, man, if it if it fits it works, the story, it you do it. Honestly, like it will drive uh, something. I will say, uh, Tommy has been one of my favorite characters I've ever role played. <laughs> I love Tom. I've mm-hmm. I've absolutely enjoyed playing him. So it was yeah. it was a good it was way fun for to play him with to you. go out. It yeah, was, it was the f- character's fun. I yeah. yeah, I'm gonna like miss Tommy Gun so much. He was yeah, so I never even funny. got to do the Tommy Gun joke. Mm. <laughs> it was so funny. Different. I believe I play with him in another game, and it's two different characters. Too. Two different characters. Yeah. Every character's different. Yeah, so, so funny. Sometimes it's hard to do that, though. You know, you know, you want to bring part a lot of yourself into it, or you just get into this. Where I play this character, so I'm comfortable with this because I know what this is. Because we're we're always yeah. uncomfortable with not. The, the biggest yeah. thing that I've had to learn, and I've had a little bit of advantage because I play it in another game, was the the play that we're doing with P6 is you know, I'll, I've now, with the other game, kind of now understood a little bit. And now we're really getting into it. Um, you know, it's still hesitant of the unknown yeah. about I've read enough ahead. I've scheduled what I, I, I know what I want to build. Yeah. But then I get to six, seven and go, I don't know what I want to build. And that's for me personally, who loves to build a character. Yes. You know, yeah. to see where he, what the next step is. I haven't a clue. And that's exciting, but it's also a little scary. Yeah. We should do, we should do an episode talking about the system. Yeah. Like yeah. You're in because it. it is a little bit different and it's intriguing. And, but I think it's a really good test for someone who's played a long time, who wants to try to sell something a little bit more, I don't want to say limiting to your powers, but it's certainly, uh, there's a much harder curve, I think, to really become super powerful. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> it, it requires you to work as a team and use what you have, not what you don't have or what you wish right. you had. Yeah. So it's a little bit more challenging. So I, I, find that exciting but again i also find it terrifying because then it's just like but but i want to be super powerful (laughs) yeah everybody wants uh, heroes don't want to be super powerful right but i get it i was in the pathfinder game with him and uh, i kind of ruined it for myself picking a paladin (laughs) yeah boom 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 oh sorry that one's dead too your your dragon's dragon's gone in two rounds so sorry My flying invisible <laughs> paladin with smite. <laughs> yeah, no worry. Okay, but so, but it's, it's, but it's yeah, fun. we definitely do. It that. was fun. We so, can talk. About I mean, now we've got several directions to go. We've got mm. a hammer. We've got a murder, and we've got Summerland. I I, I would hope the murder yeah. would come first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find out. But to me, it's a good drive in the story. I mean, to me, we would have enough. We would all have enough in this. To say we're, we're finding out what's happening, we're yeah. finding who did this. Yeah, I figured that that honestly, from a story perspective, is that it really like, you know, you guys have pretty profound motivations now. Yeah, yeah. You're, this mm-hmm. is not some contrived, like your characters would be invested. Yeah, and we have opening clues as well too. Like we've, this happens right on the foot of hearing all this talk about like strange power shifts in the human world and. Uh, Tommy has spent the last day and a half talking about becoming a mayor. Like, mm. honestly, weirdly enough, like you kind of creating one version Ooh. of your exit from the campaign is what op- potentially oh, I'm like, oh, yeah. Tommy wants to be mayor. No, nope, we got to make sure that mm. doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I could see Tommy like the local celebrity. He would be. Mm-hmm. Oh, he definitely would have wrong- easily he- taken over. Yeah, yeah, he would be really. He would be really hard to beat for. Oh, you remember when I helped cure that plague? <laughs> oh, no. you would pull that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tom, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tommy's smart. 
I know you guys don't have a statue for me yet. (laughs) And I have very little common sense. So that's why. A little bit of ego, which is good. Yeah, that's why you go out into the docks in the middle of the night. But you would be a good mayor. I think you'd be thoughtful because you care about the everyday person, the the worker of. Tommy's a good guy. Well, he was Was a good guy. guy. (laughs) Sorry. Was a guy. Too soon. Should we have like a slideshow? (laughs) Yeah, at the beginning (laughs) of the next. Sing a little. I will remember you. I, I just had the the alternate universe story where 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 we started was the joke that Trunk was going to become yep. the mayor. Yeah, and in an alternate universe, Trunk is like, "Wait, Tommy wants to take my job? Get rid of him." <laughs> <laughs> wow. Trunk is the secret wow. evil villain. <laughs> Future <laughs> Trunk. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. The enemy was with us the whole time. <laughs> I want a home, and this one is mine. <laughs> wow. So, Listeners, like, that didn't happen. <laughs> Zinnia is still a bit of a mystery. Yeah, Zinnia is just, you know, flying along. Yeah. No plans. Just Well, the thing that strikes me the most about Zinnia is she, her home is the people with her. And mm-hmm. systematically, Bree's almost gone. Mm-hmm. And then Bramble, mm-hmm. and then now Tommy. Tommy and remember, remember how Tommy said he uh, didn't want to have to tell Bree. Mm-hmm. Didn't want I was to tell Bree. Oh, that! I guess we know who's breaking the news to Bree, Zinnia. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Yep. <laughs> have fun with that. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, like oh, like just keep taking everything away from the poor little fairy. <laughs> Well, you know, I gave you an out for the next season. You could have just been like, you know what? I do like it in Raven Rock. I yeah, and then, you, and then you went and died. Guess what, You're buddy? Like, not my fault. We're staying around for a little bit to find out who murdered you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you say not my fault, but you knew you were going to die, so... And you went <laughs> anyway. Well, I mean, hey. I off, imagine off if, table versus on table, right? Imagine yeah. if Zinnia had looked at Tommy and said, you know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I will give up my adventuring days and spend the rest of my life with you as a family. And then, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, then Don would have had to really fight to get Tommy out of that house. So, so what's going to happen is His we're going to find out. Explode. <laughs> we could go the way of just Gas not leak. <laughs> caring more and just giving up. And just say, you know, Daru could go into the fat Thor you know, just oh my gosh! Start drinking to the fat Thor. You could just go into this, you know, like where you're just stealing from everybody. You know, you wear black all the time and just just don't care anymore about the good things in life. And, and Trunk, you just go back to you like, oh, I remember kind of like this uh, John Wick kind of you know deal where you have this this this. <laughs> Some trunk somewhere where you open it up and all these weapons and gold that you were hiding from your past life. <laughs> mm, people do not take from me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Someone killed your dog. <laughs> all right. So we, we got a couple minutes. Um, sure. Anything else you want to talk about about the season, about events, any other like outstanding questions? I mean, it's hard to level up. What? <laughs> I, I do have a question. Okay. Uh, what was the most powerful magic item that we did not get? Ooh. <laughs> that we walked and, past and where that is we it? didn't search. <laughs> you don't you don't have to tell us where. Just um I mean from, from a, like a weapon standpoint, just I, whatever. Just I mean, because you guys I mean plus one weapons were probably the best yeah. one you were gonna get. And I made sure that you got you know, I delivered the ones that I felt like you guys needed, you know, the club and um, there is, there's a magical lure. Okay. A magical fishing lure? Yeah. Why in the world oh, wasn't Kyle Big using that? They just finished it. That was, that <laughs> right, was, that right. was, that's, that's, that was going to be a story ending that like, if you guys found the lure, then you could prevent the inevitable because they were going to use that to catch Selvel. Um, but that's like. But we terminate. <laughs> yeah. Um. I still think there's yeah. some answers down in that dungeon at the old Yeah, monastery. was that how how long oh, yeah. was that little dungeon behind the Inside Zakad? The oh, that's a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, that's all okay. Oh. So you don't have to say anything. I feel that's like a that's a there. I'm kinda I don't know where you guys will go, but I'm wondering if that is still To me, it end. might be it's like almost like that sub quest or sub idea because I keep on reminding them about it. Remember yeah. the monastery? Well, remember the monastery? Yeah. I think we might in the cod. So that. I, I, that's yeah. why I want to keep it there because I, I mm-hmm. feel like it's somehow if Umros 
might know something more or might f- find more about why he was this way. And that would help answer. Yeah. Things. There could be still stuff there and mm-hmm. there may be hooks. Like, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to plant a lot of seeds. Mm-hmm. Um, so where we go next season, I, yeah. what we harvest. Is up yeah. Next. I mean, honestly, when we left that place, I, as a player was like, Oh, this is our main quest hook. We just have to finish this thing that we have a timely, like we've got a time limit on yeah. this. Mm-hmm. So we'll come back here. And then it was like, Oh, there's a river thing. I'm like, okay, well we'll do this. But in the back of my head, I'm like, no, this weird cult temple. That's, that's going to be the big thing we've got to tackle. It might. So when I think out of character, like we kind of learned that, uh, Umaros had a connection. Yeah, with it's this. not I'm like, there it is. <laughs> yeah. It, it's yeah. still in, in, in the back of my mind. And that, that, you know, then this, that was, that was actually one of those things where as a, as a GM, I love providing these hooks for things that I don't actually maybe necessarily want you to go in a direction, but I want you to actually genuinely have choices. And when you guys opened up the stairs to that basement and you all stood there and looked down in the dark, you guys genuinely, that was, that was a, that was one of my favorite moments of the season. Like you made an in-character decision. Like, no, we need to go save the town. There might be treasure. There might be glory. There might be horrors. We're not ready for this. Yeah. And that's, that's, I think all of our characters at heart are good, are good people. Yeah. I don't think that there's any, uh, or were. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're good people. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy was a good Oh, that character. funeral's going to be so, so sad. Mm-hmm. I'm getting just, just blackout drunk. Oh, it's going to be, well, I'll have to listen. I'll have to, you yeah. have to listen, <laughs> listen to yeah. how it goes. Or I just won't drink a drop in your mm. honor, you know? Mm. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so. Court is going to have to drag mm. me home. <laughs> You're just going to fall asleep wherever I am. You're going to tie your wrist to Corda's collar and she's just yeah. going to drag you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said before, it has been an absolute pleasure to play with everybody. Yes, I, absolutely. I am, We've appreciated having now you. Go get those degrees. <laughs> yep. Yep, and and like I said, Don, I'm open to guest appearances. I don't have okay. to play as Tommy. I could make another well, you, delightful you can't. character. Yeah, unless <laughs> <laughs> we go back I, in the. That's true. That's true. Obviously, guest play as Bree. <laughs> we could play the Back yeah. to the Future. I don't know if there's time travel, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we live in a world where we can't raise dead. I don't think we can go time travel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What's this car? Okay. Well, any any last minute things? Well, thanks for everybody. You, yes. Don. I know how this. I know what work it puts in. You put into mm-hmm. this, so we appreciate that yes. for letting us be part of your story. Well, I appreciate listening. all of you guys spending your time here. Um, I mean, this is a time commitment. I mean, hopefully, you're enjoying the game and the story, and not you know. Well, I mean, I enjoyed it until the last episode. <laughs> He's just going to hang on them for a while. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm going to remind him of the other game, too. That's going to be tough. Totally yeah. I mean, at the same time, gift that keeps it going. A, uh, a, a death that is connected to the, a bigger story oh, yeah. is good. It's so, it's so good, yeah. You will not be, die in vain. Like, well, you and, brought up Fat Thor. Like, you are Agent Coulson right now. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I am, uh, I am a plot hook. <laughs> yeah. That is very true. And just think of how many nights Don's spending on the couch because of it. (laughs) (laughs) The sacrifices we make. (laughs) For our art. (laughs) Um, Thanks to everybody that listens. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Because I I was actually just, I was about to say that. I I really appreciate everybody listening to our show. Um, And we're still very small, but we have, I, I don't know who you all are, but we have some people who listen to us. Every week, at least they did up until this episode. <laughs> um, we, you know, we are we are going to be back. Hopefully, we will do many many seasons. Yeah, we care that you listen. Yeah, and we appreciate yeah. that you listen, and we are listeners too. We we have different things that we get inspired by, and we game as well. So we hope that you. It's all about having fun and enjoying yourself. Yeah, hopefully and finding a connection. You've been entertained. That's. That's all I hope. Are you and, entertained? Mm, that and made, and made you know, Mondays a little less bleary. 
So we upload and, on Mondays, right? I'm right about that. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Otherwise, that's Monday, just... Monday mornings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to edit yeah. that part out there. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I mean, we, we must be on some of your morning commutes because there's there's usually a good half a dozen listens like early in the morning on yeah, Monday. Right. So yes. thank you for that. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and and continue to spread the word. I mean, I hopefully we can grow the show this is next year. I really would love to see us. You know. It's an organic push, yeah. but you got to do it. It's a saturated market. Yeah. There are so many, so many shows. And good shows, too. There's, There's a, lot a lot of good talent shows. out there. A lot of good shows. And that's yeah. good. We want to see creators that are enjoy doing something like D&D or, or Pathfinder that are getting that and people can connect to that. Because there are a lot of people who are in that world and they need to find someone else who likes it, too. And they would be yeah. by themselves. But there's other people there they can join with and kind of have a common love. So. All right. All right. Well, guys, that's it. We, next season. we are obviously going to have a little hiatus here. I don't have a release date for season two yet. Uh, we will be back. It'll probably be a couple months. Keep your ears to the Yeah. Uh, we'll post updates, and I do expect that we'll get that, uh, that DMGM show probably coming to the feed pretty soon, I think. And other content. And other content. I, we have some more Tell Us Mores in, in plan, too. Ask questions, please. Yeah. We love questions. Send us emails, smoke signals. We're on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, we are on threads. I, I've been spending a lot of time on threads. If you're like, what is that? If you genuinely haven't heard of it, that's the new, one of the new Twitter al- alternatives um, by Meta. Um, it's, it's a really friendly, like it's a really friendly space. It has not been corrupted yet. So... I would recommend just try it out as a great alternative. Um, I felt like the community has been pretty embracing and there's been a lot of good, good feedback. So awesome. Adventures uh, edge RPG dot. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All of our links are out there and uh, there you, go. you can find us. Adventures edge RPG dot com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yay. All of our links, all those show summaries. I, I, we have content. We've got information about the world. Uh, I could continue to add more. Anyway. All right. All right. We'll see you guys next year. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.